last summer, in the middle of the summer, all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, we have to do a salad story, and it has to be a tomato salad story, and it has to be all of the editor's favorite tomato salads. So I told everybody really quickly, like, make your favorite tomato salad, I'm gonna shoot it in like two weeks. And we did, and they came out amazingly. They're beautiful, fresh, delicious ideas for tomato salads. And mine, of course, <laughs> is a spicy tomato salad. It's a ginger yogurt dressing with a little bit of grated garlic and Thai chilies because I always want a little bit of spice in my life. It's a teaspoon of grated ginger and just one quarter teaspoon of grated garlic. One or two chilies. These are actually quite large for Thai chilies, so I think I'm just gonna use one. You also never really, really know how spicy they're gonna be. So if you're sensitive to spice, you can either leave them out and just go with the spice you get from the ginger, or you can seed them. You should taste. These are quite spicy, even by my standards. So I'm gonna leave out some of the spicy seeds. There was a cup of yogurt, I don't know if I mentioned that. About a tablespoon of olive oil. Don't worry, there'll be more later. <laughs> Salt and pepper. and stir it all together. It's very, very simple, but quite unique. And I really like it with the tomatoes. It's sort of, if you like a creamy dressing like a ranch or something like that, this is sort of along those lines, but it's spicy and fresher, I think. I like to serve this spread right onto a platter and then just layer my tomatoes on top. This seems to be a very popular way of serving things these days. You just sort of spread it out. If you're a crazy spice head, like I am, you can just eat that plain for breakfast. I do that sometimes. A savory yogurt is totally amazing. Then you need one and a half pounds of mixed tomatoes. In the story, we used a combination of mostly gold tomatoes, variety of different kinds, but obviously you should choose the ones that look the best at your market that day. They should smell fragrant. They should be beautiful. They should be firm but not hard. They should have a great tomato smell. When you bring them home, make sure that you store them at room temperature and don't put them into the refrigerator so that they don't get mealy. Here, let's arrange these big slices on the platter first. So you're just putting them right on top of your yogurt. Whatever you do, it's gonna be beautiful because tomatoes in season are some of the most beautiful things you're ever gonna find. I like to be able to see a little bit of the yogurt peeking out from the bottom. So I sort of arrange them around in order to highlight that. And then if you want to have some littler tomatoes, that's really nice. You can slice these. It's totally up to you. This part is all about you and what your aesthetic tells you to do. It's almost impossible to ruin a beautiful tomato salad. You cut up just a tiny bit more chili to put on top. And then because the flavors are so great together, I have some mint and some basil, and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. It might have been a good idea, actually, if I had sprinkled some right over the yogurt, too, so you have it on both layers, but I didn't, so I'll just use what I have here on the top. It's gonna be the most fresh and fragrant. I can, I'm already smelling, the basil is wafting up at me. God, it makes me so happy. I can't, I can almost not bear it. Just throw them on. If you just throw them on, you can never lose. Sprinkle your tomatoes with salt. Tomatoes need salt. They crave salt. They want it. And then drizzle generously with oil. Put some pepper on top if you want. And that's your salad. Actually, that's my salad. What do you think? Do you like it? I hope you like it. Please make this and let me know what you think. Write in the comments below. Yeah.